Hey guys, it's Olivia aka with Love OA and I am back to talk about some boot camp stuff. So thank you guys for watching my first boot camp video, my review on the Flatiron School. So definitely check that video out. If you have not, I'm actually on the way to work right now and this is the only time that I have time. So um, I wanted to talk about how to actually get into a boot camp. So the particular boot camp that I decided to get into was the Flatiron School. I knew that I knew that I knew that I wanted to get into that school. Um, they have a very low acceptance rate, about 8%, um, and a lot of the top boot camps do. A lot of people apply, it, but a lot of people don't get in because the whole idea and goal behind it is that people... Um, you know they are this it is a very aggressive program and it does take a very specific type of person who can completely dedicate themselves in their in their lives for three whole months to coding and so it has to be the right not just a uh, technical fit but cultural fit as well so um, if the boot camp that you're trying to get into it's a boot camp like mine um, there's a two interview process to actually get into the program um, and the first one is the cultural interview and the next one is the technical interview now one way to really sell yourself during the cultural interview is to really talk about your passion for coding really talk about your why um, for me before my before my um, cultural interview I sat down and I literally wrote down like any potential question they could ask who you are um, what brought you here um, what what do you love about coding what do you want to do after the program you know all these different things I had an answer for everything I literally wrote it all out and I practiced it verbally not just in my head because it's one thing to practice things in your head it's another thing to, thing to say things out loud so actually sit in a, a quiet room by yourself or with your parents or whoever and talk about to say what you're going to say just practice it get really good at it make sure you're fluent and that it just flows um during your culture interview you want to sound really excited and really passionate you don't want to sit there and just be like well yeah i no you have to be excited you have to be enthusiastic you have to know why you're applying to that school specifically you have to get them to understand that this wasn't just a fly-by-night decision that you put a lot of time thought energy and effort into um this process so that's huge um just selling yourself on passion being super excited having your story down being, being fluent with your story and um also you have to have really done the boot camp prep because um and and i know it's a lot but for you to actually say that i'm going to be dedicated to this program you have to um show that and how you can show that is that hey i've already put 70 hours into boot camp prep i'm almost done with the boot camp prep that shows them that you are serious um, and it makes you feel more comfortable with um, saying, yeah, I, I kind of know my stuff now at this point, you know, of course, at a very basic level. Now, once you pass the cultural interview, which I found out I passed, I think like a day later, um, I did go up to the campus and I toured the campus and made sure it was also a good fit for me because while they're interviewing you, you're also interviewing them right you uh, that's another thing too you want to make sure you have very intelligent questions written down you want to your your questions you know that's something that you know when at the very end they say do you have any questions for me that's something that people can 
um, think, oh, this doesn't re mean much, but no, this is a, a way to really show your intelligence, you know, ask what are the metrics um, behind, you know, your student success rate? How is that measured? Um, what qualities are you looking for in a student? What type of student succeeds in this program? Um, tell me about the school, you know, all these different things. It's a really way, it's a really great way to really show how smart you are by the questions that you ask. And a lot of times with the questions I ask, people will be like, hmm, I've never been asked that before. I'm kind of stumped. Um, so that's something else to think about. Um, the technical interview, it, it, it was not easy for me. After the um, cultural interview, I think I gave myself like two weeks um, to study up for the technical interview, and it was it was pretty difficult. We basically took a deli counter, which is a lab, um, and uh, I had to code live code with someone and basically show my work, show what I did, show that I understand, stood, and then on the fly, they'll ask you to do something like, okay, this is what you did. Okay, now show me how you would do this. Show me how you would increment this or show me how you would do all these different things. So, um, uh, you know, my best piece of advice is just to study up. Also, that's something that's really important is you need to know your language and you need to know your words. You can't say like, um, you can't say, oh, you're gonna put this thing right here. You have to say, oh, this is a this is a variable type and which is a string, and we're going to interpolate this into this whatever. Um, you have to actually use those words uh, to show that you actually know what you're talking about. Um, so another really good tip too is to um, talk, learn how to talk about your code, but don't just say it in your head. Actually articulate it. Say it out loud. Out loud. You can't just be like, oh, this is what I did. Here you go. Look. No, you have to be able to intelligently articulate what it is that you actually did. Use the vocabulary. Use the language. And just practice, practice, practice. Um, <clears throat> You know, but also don't be nervous if you don't do a perfect job. You are going to the school to learn, so they understand that. I didn't do a killer job on mine, um, but I still got into the program. And then I think about a day or so later, I got into the pro. I found out I got into the program. I was absolutely on top of the world, um, and uh, like my family got me a little cake and we celebrated. Um, and then the hard work started because then you have 100 hours of pre-work to do before you start the program. Literally 100 hours of pre-work and you better do that pre-work because the people that didn't really struggled. So anyway, I like to keep my videos really short and simple, right to the point. Definitely let me know if you have any questions down below or message me on Instagram. Some people did that and I am more than happy to answer you. I give really in-depth <laughs> responses because this is something I'm really passionate about. So anyway, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below. And I hope you guys are having a fabu fabulous day. Bye-bye.